Fern Podcasts. In order to allow these uh, visiting observers to minimise the amount of time that they waste learning how to use the ropes, we supply them with a member of our own staff who is intimately familiar with the way these instruments work. I'm a support scientist for one of the instruments here, so astronomical instrumentation these days has become quite complex and it's difficult for uh, a research scientist to be able to understand absolutely every aspect of absolutely every instrument they might want to use. And so my role here is uh, as a research scientist, but I'm an expert with one of the instruments we have here. And so my job is to make sure that when we get visitors coming out to use the telescope, that they can do their science correctly and that we can help them to get the observations they want to do the science rather than have to learn how to use the instrument, which they may only use once or twice during their, their, their full career. I actually see a trend too that will probably become a bit more specialised, that we might actually uh, end up going less to the telescope that people at the telescope or at the observatory will be taking the data for us in what we might call queue mode or service mode and then just sending us the data across the internet. These days in the internet age um, astronomy is very much moving to a model where there'll be specialist support astronomers who will take your data for you and then send it back to you over the internet. So the world's biggest telescopes such as Gemini on uh, Hawaii will be very much run in this what's called Q-scheduled way and specialised astronomers will take your data for you. Thank you screwing it up. <laughs> we have two types of observations, uh, those which are done in visitor mode and those which are done in, in queue mode. Uh, of those two types of observations, we may have a thousand different programs. So you'll have 250 programs which will be done in visitor mode and maybe 750 which will be done in, in queue mode. Uh, in visitor mode, the, the person who, who wrote that particular proposal, that particular observation, will come to the observatory and will assist them to do that observation. And that is usually at a, at a set time and a set date. If, if the weather is too bad, then that's, that's bad luck. He'll have to come back the following year to try his observations. Q mode, the visitor who wrote that particular observation does not need to come to the observatory. So you have those 750 different uh, observations and they will be ranked in terms of uh, the priority and also be ranked in terms of what kind of weather conditions uh, they need. Some particular observations need very good conditions, other observations don't need very good conditions. And so you have this pool of 750 observations and you do the particular observation which suits the conditions. For a given night we will see uh we will have a handle of what the weather conditions are going to be like. Is it going to be cloudy? Uh, is it going to be windy? Uh, is the seeing conditions, are the, 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 the fluctuations in the atmosphere, is that, is that going to be uh, good? Is that going to be bad? Is the water vapor level going to be good? That has some impact on uh, infra um, observations into the, into the infrared. So you've got these things. How, how do you, all these different uh, categories, how do you pick a program? So we have software actually to tell us. You, you put in what the conditions are. You say, okay, the conditions are photometric, and then it says, okay, you can do this, this, and this program, and this program has the highest priority. If it's these conditions, these proposals should be done. If it's these conditions, then these proposals are done. If it's these kinds of conditions, then those proposals are done, given that there are ranked science proposals, tier A, tier B, and tier C as well. So it's a little bit complicated, but in some sense, we try to fit in as many pr science proposals as possible for a given night. It's also complicated in the sense that um, the telescope will have several instruments. Well, each telescope has uh, two Naismith foci and, and, and a Cassegrain focus. And uh, you can choose either of the, any of these instruments uh, at any time to do the observation. So you not only do you need to choose in terms of uh, uh, priority and weather conditions, but also you might want to choose in terms of instrument as well. Uh, it's a, it's a multi-dimensional parameter space. 